Good morning, this is Keith Hall, and today's tutorial uh, will be on how you can split this text that you see on the screen and make it a different color or uh, a different gradient than what it is on the bottom of the text. So in other words, we're going to make a selection across the top of this text or middle of this text and separate it. And so that way we could create an effect where we can add a gradient uh, to that selection uh, or even a solid color to that selection. So the top portion will have some color, the bottom portion will stay the same. Now all I have is a background layer which I, as you can see, it's black and I created a text layer. So our first step is we want to be able to select this text. Uh, individually the individual letters so in order to do that you come over here in the layers panel and you want to control click uh, on a PC uh, on the T portion of this thumbnail of the layer so I'm going to press control click and as you can see now the individual letters are now all selected so our next step is we want to be able to uh, uh, use the elliptical marquee tool, which is up here in the left. And I already have it selected. And if it isn't, just uh, hold down the uh, uh, your um, uh, click on it, and this flyout menu will come here. So what you want to do is select the elliptical marquee tool. So once you do that, you want to be able to select uh, with the elliptical marquee tool uh, the bottom portion of this. And as you select it, you want to hold down the Alt key on the PC. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, click it, and as you can see, it's drawn like an oval around the text. And what you can see now, now only a portion of that text, the top portion, is selected, which is what we want to do. We want to be able to paint the top portion a certain color. So our next step is we must create a new layer. So we come over here to the Layers panel, come down to these icons, and select a new layer. So once we do that, we selected it. Now we want to do is... Um, either we uh, uh, paint it with a solid color or with a gradient. Let's first work with a solid color. Easiest way is you could do with you, is whatever your foreground color is currently right now. So if we look over here, this is my foreground color over here on the left. Now an easy way to do that is uh, shortcut is pressing the Alt and Delete key on the PC and what that does it paints that selection with the foreground color if you want the background color uh, you the other shortcut key is control backspace and as you can see it changed that again you could use your color swatches up here to select whatever your foreground color is and then you can paint that um, top portion up. So let's see how we could do this using a gradient. So let's back out of this. Let's select the gradient tool over here on the left. Let's come up here and open up the gradient um, tool editor. And then what we could do is select the foreground, the transparent option. Click OK. And now let's change the uh, foreground color to black. And what it's going to do is it's going to paint it with a foreground to transparent type effect. Now what you need to do is uh, click to anywhere and draw up. And as you can see, it's starting to change colors with that gradient.
and keep on doing this until you get the effect that you want. So that is how you could take text, split it in half basically, uh, however that you want, either with the elliptical or another uh, selection tool, and uh, change the color of that selection for a portion of that text. Again, uh, hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you today and it uh, gave you a new skill set uh, for you to learn. And uh, remember to subscribe to my channel so you, uh, and click on the bell notification so whenever I upload a new video, you'll be alerted to that. Also, please like, share, and comment on the video too. I appreciate it. And always thank, I'm always thanking you for stopping by and watching these videos. Have a great day.